Hola and bienvenidos everybody. It's Nitpick and today is the day. We are reacting to the first part of the Bandmade documentaries. Today we're going to be focusing on Saiki. First of all, before I get started with the video, I want to give a big shout out to, I believe this is how you pronounce it, Orenke, for lending me the video to react to on a more personal level. And another thing, just because I want to throw it out there, I do have a Patreon. I am currently building stuff to put on my Patreon. There will be Patreon exclusive videos. So if you want to support the channel and support me as a creator, and also as a teacher, feel free to check that out. So needless to say, this video is gonna be a lot longer than my other videos, but I'm really excited to get to know each member. So feel free to hang out with me. Why not? Grab something to drink, maybe grab a snack. So let's get to know Saike today. <laughs> Breaking new gate. The artwork is cute. The bananas. <laughs> Saike, I love it. Welcome to Kofu, the capital city of Yamanashi Prefecture, where Saiki was born on February 8th. Known for its proximity to Mount Fuji and its grapes and wines, Yamanashi is mostly covered by forests. This is the beautiful landscape where Saiki spent her childhood with her mother and stepfather as her parents are divorced. Her mother was born and raised in Osaka, and Psyche describes her as a person who doesn't hold anything back and could be very aggressive. Oh. Her stepfather wasn't really a father figure in Psyche's education, as her mother took responsibility for this role as well. Psyche was a very shy child who couldn't leave her mother's knees, but forced herself to go to school anyway. As her mother loved to drink with her friends, Psyche spent a lot of time in bars called izakaya, a snack bar in Japan where you can drink a lot and talk loud. Try to picture a shy young girl eating dinner in the middle of a group of her mother's friends while they drank alcohol. Oh. Psyche had a very funny and lively childhood. She spent a lot of time singing at the karaoke as her mother kept asking her to sing various types of songs. Songs to cry to like Nada So So by Rimi Natsukawa. More poppy songs like Butterfly by Koura Kumi. <laughs> okay. At first, Psyche sang because she was asked to. <laughs> but after being praised by her mother and her friends, Psyche kept singing again and again learning more songs and listening to different types of music. Listening to Kouda Kumi led Saiki to discover Namie Amuro, a famous mm. Japanese singer, dancer, and model who's been referred to as the queen of Japanese pop. Saiki became a huge fan of Namie Amuro and decided to take dancing lessons when she was around eight or nine to become just like her idol. She talked about the kind of Namie fan she was in the second episode of the radio show called Band Made Nippon, a 20-minute regular radio show that aired during the pandemic on Nippon Broadcasting System, a sister company of Band Made's label Pony Canyon. Funky Town. Oh, っていうぐらいこう、そうだね。ね。アムロナミエさん大好きだったね。大好き。もう私の神様だと思っています。すごかったんだからやっぱ、あの、アムロさんが引退を発表した時。恥ずかしい。もう忘れられないやっぱあれ
椅子普通に座ってたのに崩れ落ちたからね<笑>座ってたのにね座ってたのに立ってたわけじゃないのに<笑>崩れ落ちて叫んだから叫んだみんなで「どうしたの?」ってめっちゃ嘘だーそうちょっともう<笑>やばあんな気なんですかねで泣いた泣いてたで,で「ごめんなさいもう今日はできません」って<笑><笑>やったよやったけどねやったけどやったけど一旦もうちょっと私今日はもうできないですって<笑> 10分は休ませてもらったそうだねちょっと一旦それで休憩がっつり休憩にしましょうって,ってちょっと気持ちの整理させてください、ね、<笑>もう本当に崩れ落ちてたとねそうぐらい好きなんです、うん、安室奈美さんのことが、うん、はい最近 OK so before I just Wow, I'm sure this happens to a lot of people.、Uh, when you get praise for doing something and you do it well, it's hard to like push down the want to keep doing something, especially if you are told you're good at it and then you start to love it. And then you find people, like, for instance, Psyche was saying that she found people that. She looked up to. I totally understand. That's how I was with flute. I did it for fun. People told me I was good at it, and then I leaned into that and discovered famous flutists, and I kept going. But that's so cute that, like, she was just like, she found out that her favorite singer had retired, and she was just like, I can't. I can't today. No, 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 no. That's so cute. Anyway, let's keep going. His mother often asked her to audition, but at that time, Psyche thought it would be impossible for her to pass an audition and actually、mm-hmm. become someone who can sing and dance like her idol, Namie Amuro. And then one special day, on her birthday, Psyche asked to go to Tokyo to take a look at life in the big city. It was during this trip to Tokyo. That Psyche was scouted by a talent agency named Rising Production. But it was not just any talent agency. Rising Production also managed Namie Amuro. At first, Psyche worked as a model. You can see pictures from a photo shoot she did with Jimmy Ming Shum in、oh, November、wow. 2012. Then, she was asked about what she would like to do. Of course, Psyche brought up singing. So, She took singing lessons. The agency also asked her about acting lessons, and even though she wasn't really interested in acting, she agreed in order to have more opportunity in the future.、Mm-hmm. Yep. When she was in high school, Psyche traveled between Yamanashi and Tokyo on the weekend for her singing lessons. She was on the right path to become a professional singer and dancer. Through those singing lessons, Psyche learned a lot about how to sing properly, louder, and also how to move while singing. When you sing, it's important to express yourself with gestures, but Psyche was still very shy.、Mm-hmm. She used to sing while standing still. But the years of dancing lessons did give Psyche a good sense of rhythm, and those singing lessons helped her to overcome her shyness. Psyche started to show signs of the strong, confident, and mesmerizing singer that we know of today. A lot happened in Psyche's life since her trip to Tokyo. After joining Rising Production, Psyche was scouted by Platinum Passport during one of her singing lessons. This is when she decided to move to Tokyo to focus on her career. Psyche appeared briefly in a commercial for Taisho Pharmaceutical. You can also see her dancing in a music video for the singer Mei J. Psyche was an actress in the B team of Go Jet Go Go Zero. A musical comedy where she played the role of Meg, the sister of the lead character. She was in the cast between June 26th and July 3rd, 2013. That's not all. Between August 13th and 19th, 
Psyche performed in a play called Night of the Blue Moon, where she had the role of a nurse. That's okay. That's so cool. What's so cool about this so far is the fact that like she had a natural talent, but what's what she did the right thing in developing those other talents, right? So for instance, taking singing lessons, so expanding on what she already is good at, and then, you know, dance lessons, like ex just adding more to her repertoire of talents, and then acting. Even though she said that wasn't something she possibly wanted to do, but she still did it, and it panned out for her. That Like, she ended up getting roles and things, like, that's crazy. And a model, of course, like, duh. You look at Psyche, and of course, like, how could she not be a model? That's, I mean, that's something normal, right? Like, if you find something you're good at, hedge your bets on it, take lessons. I cannot exaggerate that enough. I, as a person who teaches privately, I took private lessons growing up and that helped me a lot and look at where I am today. I run my own business, I teach privately. If you find something that you're good at, take lessons in it, get better at it, expand on it. You never know what can happen, but let's keep going. <laughs> Psyche has always been a fan of trains, which is pretty common in Japan. She likes to take photos and visit museums like the Kyoto Railway Museum, what? where she went in 2016. Psyche considers herself amongst the photographers when it comes to talk about train enthusiasts. There is also something else that's very present in Psyche's daily life, and it's the only other topic you can see on her ex account, the Japanese baseball team Hanshin Tigers. What? Psyche is a huge fan of this team, and she's supported them for a long time. She reposts every victory, and sometimes she just posts about them. She even talked about the Hanshin Tigers on the radio with a show she hosted with Miku in 2021. <laughs> if you really follow Psyche on Instagram, you know that she loves taking photos, where she poses with various types of clothes along with photos of her shoes and nails. Talking about shoes, you can find videos of Psyche showing a room full of sneakers in a series called Maid's Room, available for Omesu Sama members. Psyche is also one of the main models when it comes to feature band-made clothes for the official website. As a baseball fan myself, that makes me so happy. <laughs> I, you have no idea. Like, huge fan of baseball. I'm a Texas Rangers fan. Hi, Rangers fans out there, if you're out there. And that's so cool. I love that. I love that. And, oh, okay, I love Misa. But, like, is Psyche my spirit animal? Is Are we, like, are we related? Because the baseball the shoes, the clothes. Like, I, I may not look like a fashion queen. I can dress other people, can't dress myself, but I love, love fashion, and I love shoes. Oh my god. I'll get off my soapbox, but I found my sister from across the world. Anyway. On July 24th, 2013, a rock band called Bandmade performed for the first time at Otsuka Dipa in Tokyo. This band consisted of four members, Konami on guitar, Akane on drums, Misa on bass, and Kabato Miku, the founder of the band, on vocals. Bandmade performed two more times at Shibuya Milky Way on August 13th and at the Vyunos in August 16th before realizing that Miku's voice alone wouldn't be enough for her band. The management started to look for a lead vocalist within the agency. The profile of a young new talent who'd moved from Yamanashi came up. 
She had taken dancing lessons for a few years along with singing lessons from her previous and current agency. She'd also done some acting here and there, but she always wanted to become a professional singer. Her name was Psyche. Psyche was first contacted because her profile fit what the band was looking for. She was asked to come sing and listen to the songs planned for the band without being informed that she would have to perform in a special outfit. On Psyche's <laughs> first audition, none of the members were there, only the agency president, songwriters, and manager. They explained the project in detail, but Psyche was really skeptical about the maid outfit. <laughs> <laughs> she listened to the music written for the band, and even though she really liked it, Psyche was not really sure if she could sing these kinds of songs. But the management team told Psyche her voice was great and was a perfect fit in the band. As she wanted to sing more and was ready to participate in any audition that could offer her a job in this area, Psyche accepted the offer and officially joined Bandmate. Oh, come on. Psyche still had to meet the other four members, but she didn't meet them all at once. <笑>四人同時じゃなくて徐々に会っていく感じだったんですけど、最初は金だったかな。彼女については<笑> 当時はみんなと似たような<笑> 私その時点ではまだそれがメイド服だって分かってなかったんです。というかエプロンとか小物がないとただの黒いワンピースに見えるわけですよ。しかもそれがない。いわゆる可愛い感じの衣装じゃなかったんですね。ただなんか触れあの
I happen to feel like I click with Misa and Saike, right? Because, believe it or not, I am an extremely shy person. Like, extremely shy. Despite being a teacher, like, teaching is something I have to do. It's a mask that I put on. I have to make students feel comfortable being around me. But I am easily uncomfortable where I have to, like, talk and make friends. Uh, so I <laughs> I completely understand when she's mean saying, when she's like, I understand how Misa feels. It's like, she can read that and I can read that in people too. And I love this. I love this. Maybe, maybe I like, I like two queens in this band. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna scoot it back a little bit because I want to hear her voiceover for this. <laughs> <笑>初対面の時はちょっとした挨拶程度だったんですよ。お疲れ様です。みたいな話をしたのはレコーディングの時だったんですけど、私にとってはスタジオ見学のようなものだったので、ああ、レコーディングってそうやるんですね。とか
She went to a lot of concerts, but only for that one band she wanted to see before leaving the venue. Psyche also struggled to sing with all the noise of her bandmates' instruments on stage, as she didn't <laughs> wear in-ear monitors when she started to sing with bandmates. Psyche performed her first concert with Banmei on August 22nd at Shibuya AX in Tokyo. Right after this concert, Psyche got rid of the apron that was attached to her outfit. It took about six months for Psyche to get used to being in a band and learn how to manage her setup for the concerts. This timing was perfect because on February 8th, 2014, her on Psyche's birthday, Bandmate performed their first one-man concert. Okay, that is so cool. She's so brave because, yeah, I would be freaking out if I was asked to join a band being scouted by a talent agency. Everyone knew each other, they've already created a rapport, and then you just are selected and you waltz right in and you're told to wear a maid outfit. Like, this is your new look, this is your new style, you're gonna sing with this rock band, and especially being shy, like, that, that could that could potentially make someone want to, like, quit the industry. And I love the fact that she altered her maid outfit. Like, I, I'm not saying I don't like the maid outfits. I think they're adorable and I love them, but I am one of those people that, like, I want to be different. I love that she chose to make herself her outfit look different just because she wanted to that's how i feel like i would be that person i'd be like mm, i'm gonna i'm gonna change the outfit a little bit i want to i want to be a little bit different and then eventually i would probably design my own outfit but that's besides the point anyway let's keep going after the success of <laughs> thrill band made played more concerts and Psyche found herself singing more than she was prepared for. Even though she took singing lessons for a few years, Psyche's vocal technique was still very limited. And during her debut, she wasn't as cautious about how she sang. Oh. Around the time Bandmaid recorded Alone, Psyche was being helped by a vocal coach to improve her singing skills, but it was already too late. Between 2015 and 2017, her throat suffered to the point where her voice became half as powerful as it was when she joined Bandmate. At one point, she couldn't even record an entire song the same day. Oh, she wow. had to rest a few days between takes to ensure that she didn't lose her voice for good, even forced to speak in whispers for a while, and used her voice only for singing. Terrified by the idea of having to rely on surgery, she tried everything to avoid it, but finally realized that she would not be able to sing anymore if she waited any longer. Mm -hmm. In the summer of 2017, she finally gathered her courage and went through with vocal cord polyp surgery. Yep. Psyche was completely without a voice for a week, Ooh. and then she wasn't allowed to sing for a month right after the surgery. Mm -hmm. She wrote a tweet to reassure everyone who'd been following her. With the help of her vocal coach, who had experience wait i want to read that <laughs> to sing for a month right after the surgery she wrote a tweet to reassure everyone i just wanted to let you all know that the surgery for the polyps in my vocal cords is over and i'm out of the hospital and back home the period of silence is over and i'm talking to you a little bit to see how i'm doing i'm still grateful for the kind words and the time you've given me thank you 
Oh my god. Yeah, polyp surgery is scary. Basically, it's where your vocal cords look, they look like a little V, right? And then you could get like a polyp, like a big bump, or not nodes. I think they're nodes or nodules or something like that. And they can, they just irritate your throat. It's, it's, it's scary because you lose your voice and you can't, you can't, you can't talk, you can't sing, you have to be on vocal rest for a while. It's really scary because especially someone who relies on their voice for their job or performing, like, I guess nowadays, like, we've gotten better with, like, surgery that it's not as maybe frightening. I still think it's scary, though, but let's keep going. We've been following her. With the help of her vocal coach, who had experience with this kind of surgery mm. and a lot of training, Psyche is now able to sing even better than before and has improved her technique while learning how to properly care for her voice. You can see Psyche taking care of her throat during MCs when she's drinking low quat syrup or even after the show where she's using a stainless steel ice bottle to keep her throat cool. Yes. Psyche's voice changed a lot over the years, always improving, becoming more powerful with a wider range. The amount of difference between from, I can't even remember the first date, but all those years, yeah, her voice definitely got power, more powerful. Her range has definitely gotten a lot better. Her pitch center got a lot better too. That's, wow. Also, um, I don't know if it's also just because of aging, but like, you know, voices change over time, especially with maturity. And like, I'm sure when she was first started in the band like she had a younger woman's voice it could be that also she like not only did the surgery help and change some things but like just the maturity of womanhood like I know that obviously like puberty is a factor but like voices continue to change over time and that's that's common but like that plus the surgery man that created that creates like this she's got like this boomy chest voice for a woman and it's like oh it's powerful it's very powerful i love it i love it let's keep going there are always more to do in a band than just play your instrument there's writing songs lyrics and being involved in the whole process <laughs> psyche wrote lyrics here and there along with miku since the release of brand new made in 2016 but she started to write more by herself, as she's the one who's credited for lyrics on Corellium.
and Maji. Psyche actively participates in other activities around Bandmate, like helping design clothes and giving ideas for the covers yes. of Bandmate CDs. Yes. At first, Miku was the spokesperson of the band, while Psyche used to stay in the background. Miku was the one who talked the most during media appearances and put on a show <laughs> during MCs. But since the pandemic, Psyche took a step forward and became, with Miku, part of the front image of Bandmate. Yes. They talked together during the Bandmate Nippon radio show and all other radio appearances. Psyche has also become more active during MCs and started to talk from her heart with the fans. After a time, Psyche came to realize that of all the maids, she had the best view of the stage as she was free to roam as she focused on her singing. Mm -hmm. Psyche was the one who started to talk to the other members about moving around the stage interacting more with the crowd and making each concert even more special. Sneni,驚かせたいっていうのがありますね。ハットさせられたり、ゾクッとさせられたりっていうのは本気の整理現象だと思うし、そういうのを伴った時の方が記憶に残るんじゃないかなと思っていて。だから結局自分たちのことが
what was that I was just listening to? I definitely want to hear that. But first of all, wonderful narration by Casper Michaels. I love, love your voice. It's very soothing and easy to listen to. And then Yuri Takashima, very wonderful voice of Psyche. Like, I love the narration that we got in the middle where she was explaining, like, her meeting of the other maids and everything. That's really, really great talent there. And of course, the script by Orenke is just absolutely well done. Bravo. Very good work here. I can't Im imagine the amount of time that went into making this. This is a lot. This, this is a lot of work. So congrats. This is really, really good stuff. The opportunity to get to know these ladies one by one is gonna open up a new world for me. It's really hard not to like open their music on Spotify, by the way. It's really hard. Psyche's story is really neat because she discovered what she was good at at a young age and then decided that was something she wanted to do. She went for it, got a well-rounded education in the arts. So, you know, singing, dancing, acting. She did it. That education led her to be able to be scouted by acting companies for, you know, theater. But the fact that they scouted a new singer for their own, like, bandmates scouted her. It's such a cool position to be in, like, having the chance to just be like, I was scouted by bandmaid. Like, <laughs> like, wow. She didn't shy away from fear. She pushed through. She could have quit. She could have just jumped ship. But she persevered. She pushed forward. And this is a great, great way to, like, think of life. Like, we should try our best at everything we do and keep doing the thing that we really want to do until it doesn't serve you. And in this case, like, we could really take a page out of Psyche's book when approaching life. I'm sure it's also just really good writing from Orenke, but like it felt it felt like Psyche was meant for Bandmade. Every puzzle piece was laid out and it was just waiting. It's like every day, every year, every moment, every second was just waiting for another little puzzle piece to be put in. And Psyche was the fifth puzzle piece. It's like, that's so, that's so great. I love that. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for sending this to me. And thank you so much for all of you telling me to like react to this. Oh my goodness. If you'd like to continue the conversation about Bandmade and music in general, leave comments down below. What do you think about Psyche? being the fifth member of Bandmade. I feel like she's always been a member. The band was just waiting for her. I, I can relate to Psyche on so many levels. It feels good to like get to know people like that. And I know I like my chances of meeting Psyche are like this little, but like I feel like I would look at her and be like, I, I get it. Thank you guys for telling me about this because yeah. <laughs> They definitely have a new favorite band. <laughs> I am not gonna say I've been looking for bandmade headpieces online. That's all my Amazon recommended is right now because I've been searching for them anyway. So if you want to support me, please feel free to follow the channel or also look me up on Patreon. I'm also developing a TikTok right now, so we'll see how that goes. Oranke sent me this video and they told me that they would send me the next documentary video when it's finished because they're updating the video currently. And I'm gonna wait for the updated video because I feel like that's the right thing to do. And so don't get too mad if the next video is not the documentary, but maybe another bandmade reaction. Anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you next Bandmade Sunday. Peace out. <laughs>